In this video, we'll be learning about the documentation. This is where you can find not only the public API of classes that Apple has written and what they do, but Apple's documentation includes examples, best practices, and sample code. Find Help on the menu and go ahead and select Documentation and API Reference. We're going to go ahead and take a look at NS Mutable Array, so if it's not on your screen the way it is on mine, you can go ahead and search for it in the top area and you're going to take a look at the top hit which is going to be NS Mutable Array. Look at all the methods that it implements, all written so that you don't have to. All of these sub subtraction signs tell us that these are all instance methods. The plus sign here tells us that this is a class method. We'll talk more about the difference between these two as we continue to go through our course together. Let's take a look at an example of an instance method. Specifically, we'll check out add object, so we can go ahead and select this. And the API tells us that add object inserts a given object at the end of the array. It tells us the method declaration or the method name. We can also see related methods, so we can figure out how to add an object, but the inverse would be removing an object. We can also figure out related sample code to see Apple's coded out examples on their best practices. If we scroll back up to the top, we can see that an overview of how NS Mutable Array should work, and we also see that it directly inherits from NS Array, and that the header file interface from NS Array is also included as part of NS Mutable Array. We learned about that earlier as part of inheritance. It's incredibly important that you familiarize yourself with the classes Apple has written. It's quite common that if you're new to coding in Objective-C, you will write many lines of code to achieve a task that's already been written or solved by Apple. In particular, we're going to be checking out NS Array, NS String, NS Dictionary, and NS Number for other objects that are really common and have quite a bit of functionality built up to solve a lot of the problems we're going to encounter as we start writing our computer programs. You've now briefly seen an array and a string, and we'll get to the other two later, NS Dictionary and NS Number.